guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new please hit that like and subscribe button let's get right into today's video so i did receive this package from born pretty they sent it over to me um this is their modern city collection you can search it up on amazon it's available there and the link for the product will also be in the description box below but here it contains six neon gel polish colors and we'll get into that in just a second and here's like the little manual um that like comes with the kit like telling you how to prepare your nails how to apply the gel polish and all that stuff so you can pause to read it if you'd like if not we will get into the gel polishes here so like I mentioned, there's six gel polish colors, um, all neon colors. Um, I will be taking them out of the package and then I will be opening the bottle, showing you the color, and then we will get into the swatches. So this first color is MC01. It's a beautiful, like vibrant green gel polish and I absolutely love it. Um, this next one's MC02. It's more like that highlighter yellowish color. Again, very cute, very vibrant, perfect for the summertime. Next is MC03. It's a very like vibrant orange. I don't have an orange gel polish, like neon gel polish in my collection, so I was super glad that I received it in this collection. Um, this next one's MC04. It's that typical hot pink neon gel polish that like comes with almost every collection of neon gel polishes. Next is MC05. And it's your blue. It's not the typical neon blue, but it is a really beautiful blue. And then this last color is MC06. And I thought it'd be more of a vibrant purple, but it's like a pinkish, purplish color. Still really cute though, but not exactly what I was expecting. So I will be getting into the swatches now. Um, I will pretty much let this whole, like all the swatches play out. But I do want to mention I only do one coat. Um, on camera and then I do the second coat off camera. Um, I do recommend doing two coats and then curing for 60 seconds in between. And yeah, let's just watch the swatches and let it play out. Baby, you don't know, no, no. 
here are all the swatches after I've done them. Um, again, very cute, very vibrant. I love how smooth that they apply and how um, pigmented they are. Now I'm going to be doing a custom press on nail set and I will be using those gel polishes for the nail at the towards the end so stay tuned for that. First I am taking the Milk Bath color from Cairo's Nail Supply which is my online acrylic nail store. Um, the link will be in the description below. Um, and I will just be applying a thin layer of this to all these nails and then I will come back in on the next step. Outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, me, I had it done, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, two 
time, baby girl, you know me. Oh my, all the niggas around me, right at it, Gotta watch the time, cause it's fine right now. So these are what the nails are looking like after applying the acrylic, and now I'm going in with my 80 100 grit um, file from Too Cute Nail Supply and just gently shaping these up and getting that shape back from the acrylic. Also finally the free, free edge to give it that nice crisp look. And what I like to do when I do press ons to make it look more natural is I like to file the like cuticle part of the nail and like, I don't know how to explain it, like do like a swiping motion downwards. And so that way it looks more natural when you go in and apply them. Now I'm taking my buffer and just gently going over the surface of all these nails as well. Since we will be doing nail art, we want that surface to be super smooth so that way the gel polish doesn't bleed anywhere and like the ridges or anything, it's all nice and smooth. Another tip you could do if you don't want a buff is apply a layer, like a thin layer of matte top coat so that way the gel polish goes on super smoothly and it doesn't have that like bleeding effect if you don't do that. Just a tip, you don't have to do it. I've done it before and it actually works really good. So off camera I did do this set, like this part, just to see how I would like it. So we are doing, I don't know how you would explain it, it looks almost like a tie-dye effect. So I am taking this Madame Glam base coat and applying a thin layer of it and this will act as the blooming gel. I don't have any blooming gel at all and I don't know why I could easily get it off of Amazon, I just haven't thought of doing that yet. And I will be taking my dotting tool and my gel polishes and just doing dots across the nail letting it spread out and then I will go in with the second color and then do like the dots in the middle of that but you do not cure yet until you've done all your dots if that makes sense like since see how like it's spreading out when I go with my next color on top of the green I'm not curing in between that I wait until I've applied the dots in the first color and then I will cure I am going to let the nail art portion play out and I will give my honest review about the gel polishes more towards the end of this nail set. So that way you guys kind of get an idea on like how I feel about these gel polishes and if I recommend them or not. Spend some time away Now you need to fall 
Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So since this is the last time I did show on camera of me doing the Nellar, I'm going to do my review now. Um, I do highly recommend these gel polishes for beginners or all levels of nail techs who just want to add more gel polishes to their collection. Like I mentioned, they're super pigmented and super smooth to apply and they're very bright. Like they stand out a lot and I really love that about gel polishes. Um, again, the link to purchase the product will be down below. You can purchase it directly from their website or on Amazon. Um, I don't have a code or anything, so you can't save no money with that, but again, just the link down below. So this is what the nail set's looking like now. I did take a lip free wipe and some alcohol and wipe off the surface of the nails. Now I'm taking this matte top coat. I did get this like brand off of Amazon with like about 30 something gel polishes I think. And I'm applying a thin layer to all of the nails. Um, I don't really like this matte top coat honestly. Um, it's like really weird. It's super thin and I feel like it doesn't, I mean it looks good but I feel like it doesn't give the proper matte effect if that makes sense. So don't use this gel polish. I mean this matte top coat I'm really using it because no one, this isn't for a customer or nothing so it's just for the video. Um, but yeah I'm just applying a thin layer of this and I will be carrying this in the light for 90 seconds and we'll show you the results at the end. I did quickly want to mention that I do sell press-ons, so if you are interested in any of the press-ons that I have made, um, there is a link below that you can purchase and you can see all the pre-made designs I've done so far, or if you want a custom set, there is an option for that. And then, like in the description of that, it d explains how to like do the process of checking out, like where you explain your sizes, what design you want, all that stuff. So. Yeah, if you want to purchase any of my press songs, there's the link below. And here are the results after the talk. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!